I'm Johnny Shockley. I was raised on Hooper's Island. I spent a lifetime here as a child just enjoying the adventures of catching minnows and crabbing and doing all the things that you would do on an island. I grew up to become a uh, full-time waterman, did some boat building. Um, my grandfather was a boat builder. I recall spending every day out on the boat with my dad oystering or crabbing. That's all I can remember. I, I've been doing it my entire life. I recently started a, a new company with my partner Ricky Fitzhugh called uh, Hooper's Island Oyster Aquaculture Company. Oyster aquaculture is the practice of being able to grow an oyster from the state that it's larvae right on through to market. What we've been able to do in the last 10 to 15 years is develop a um, disease resistant oyster that is very vibrant, very stable and uh, sustainable. The more oysters we put in the bay and be able to do this in a sustainable way, um, the more nitrogen we can remove and, and help the water quality. The waterway that we pull them from is in trouble. I remember as a child seeing just acres and acres of seagrasses at the surface in the summertime and being able to go out and, and uh, just walk for miles um, uh, crabbing with, with dip nets and, and soft crabbing and things like this. And, uh, um, today, um, the seagrasses are very patchy and um, not nowhere near as dense as what they were uh, 30, 40 years ago. Um, it would go in trends even back then, but the water quality was such that the oyster wouldn't just up and die on its own. It would, um, it would come and go um, through harvesting, but not due to uh, disease. People who work these waters, who, who, who de depend on the, the seafood industry as a living, they have investments that require a 12 month a year payment. When the oysters started disappearing, uh, we lost the ability to, to be able to pay those payments um, from, that, from what the, the, resource, the oyster resource was supplying for six to eight months of the year. So this whole thing is, is thrown um, a real burden on the crab and fishing industry. Um, and it's based around, the, 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 it started with the oyster industry going into decline. Now that we've gone through this cycle in the last 150 years of really bringing ourselves as a society where we are today, uh, we need to, to now get more intelligent and more progressive in our thinking to be able to turn that around and be able to use economics to fix the problems that we've made for ourselves. This heritage otherwise will die. We have got, a, got to find a new way to maintain these communities that was built upon um, this resource. We've got to re be able to find a way to redevelop the resource. What I would love to see for the future of the Eastern Shore is a heritage that continues, um, the, the heritage that I grew up in, to be able to continue um, in a sustainable way so that we, our, our generations um, in the future are able to enjoy the same things that we have. Um, and figure out a way to make that happen um, continuously and not be a burden to the, to the environment, but an enhancement to the environment.